Up until this point, we've discussed the following. The risk-reward relationship. Canada's progressive tiered tax system. The tax treatment of different types of income and even ways to shelter investment income from taxation. Now that the stage has been set, let's talk about the different types of investments available in the marketplace. There are three main asset classes, which in layman's terms just means that most investments fall into one of three broad categories. Investments within the same class share similar characteristics. In order from lowest risk to highest risk, the three main asset classes are cash and equivalents, which are also called money market instruments, fixed income, and equity. The combination of different investments held in a portfolio is referred to as the investor's asset mix. Now, there's a lot to consider when determining the appropriate asset mix, including the investor's goals, risk tolerance, time horizon, which is how long until the investor is going to need the money, current and expected market conditions, and the list goes on. For example, it may be appropriate for a young, aggressive investor saving for retirement in 40 years to have an aggressive asset mix with most of the portfolio invested in equities. Even if the stock market crashes, he would still have decades for his portfolio to recover. On the other hand, a retiree living on a limited fixed budget may want to have more of her portfolio invested in safer investments like money market and fixed income securities. Let's go over an example of an investment product from the cash and equivalent class called treasury bills. We will then explore fixed income and equity securities in future videos. Treasury bills are relatively straightforward investments that could be summarized by the following five points. They are very safe because they are issued by the government and are very short term. In fact, the rate on a 90 day T-bill is often referred to as the risk free rate of return. Let's face it, it's unlikely the Canadian government, which has the power of taxation, will default on a T-bill in the next 90 days. They are issued in initial terms of three months, six months, and one year. Varying terms will trade in the marketplace though. For example, in 80 days, a treasury bill initially issued with a 90 day term would be a 10 day T-bill. T-bills are sold at a discount and mature at the face value. The difference between the purchase price and the maturity value is considered the investor's interest and is therefore taxed as interest. It is not considered a capital gain. They are considered a cash equivalent because they are short-term, secure investments that can be sold to another investor quite easily without worrying much about the loss of original principal. For example, Curtis bought a $1,000 one-year treasury bill for $980. In other words, he bought it at a discount. He pays $980 today and will receive $1,000 in a year with the difference of $20 being his interest. 